Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, it's Revealing RPA Delivery Shortcuts with RoboSuite. Uh, now, before we get started, I'd like to go over a few items so you know how you can uh, participate in today's event. Uh, you've joined the presentation listening using your computer system to uh, by default. If you would prefer to join over the telephone, just select phone in the audio pane and uh, the dial information will then be displayed there. Uh, you'll also have the opportunity to submit text questions to uh, today's presenters by typing your questions into the questions pane of the uh, control panel. So you may send in your uh, questions at any time during the presentation and uh, we'll collect these and address it during the Q&A session at the end of today's presentation. Right, so today's webinar is being recorded and uh, you will receive a follow-up email within 24 to 48 hours with a link to view the uh, recording, right? So I'd like to now introduce uh, Falguna Rao, uh, Head of uh, Technology Partnerships for um, Asia Pacific and Japan for Blue Prism. Over to you, Falguna. Thank you, Mark. Um, good morning and good afternoon to everyone uh, who's joined in. Uh, I hope uh, and I trust uh, all of you and your uh, families and near and dear ones are doing fine um, uh, at this time of the pandemic. When this whole thing started more than a year back, we thought it will be over by now, but unfortunately, uh, it is still amongst us. So uh, trust everyone is doing well. So. Um, um, I'm going to quickly cover a little bit of uh, the background to uh, reveal uh, and and the and the technology that they have built. Uh, but um, you now you can see two other names on the slide here: John and Cass, uh, two uh, fantastic smiles, uh, and they're going to share um, how they're making our customers uh, smile. So um, as as we go along, um, you know the. Blue Prism is being used by many of our customers um, in the uh, automation space. And uh, in that automation space, uh, we have seen that these customers are really uh, looking for uh, a few areas that they could look for some help. And those areas that you know Blue Prism sees as uh, key are in the discovery phase, the design phase, and, and the delivery phase. And in this space, uh, we've identified a, a few further areas uh, where Blue Prism is investing in not only building some of its own capabilities, but also working with the partners uh, out there so that we bring the best of breed uh, capabilities to you as customers as well as uh, you know go to market partners. So in order to achieve that vision of you know autonomous automation continuous uh, automation and and that uh, journey that you know we are helping our customers with uh, blue prism has built a fair number of uh, new offerings that we've brought to market which you know i do not want to cover here right now uh, be it in the discovery phase or uh, design and deliver phase but uh, where reveal really comes in is adding uh, you know, rocket fuel uh, to the portfolio that uh, Blue Prism already has in assisting customers uh, in that journey of uh, design and delivery. So uh, some of the tools that we're going to cover today is, you know, Robo Designer and Robo Review, while they also have a tool called Robo Manager, which will help in the delivery phase. But I think today the reveal team is going to spend uh, more of the time on going through how they can help you in the uh, you know build and test phase using uh, two of their marquee products which is uh, designer and and review so without taking more time uh, away from them uh, i'm going to pass this on to uh, john who's going to start off uh, with the background to reveal itself and then uh, take it from there over to you john Great, thanks Falguna and hi everyone. Really great to be here and really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you about these products and also to talk a little bit about our journey. And I thought I'd just start a little bit on that. Uh, I think it's useful to sort of put some context around it. We've been around for around about uh, 15 years. We've been uh, heavily grounded as a company in process excellence. We are an Australian systems integrator who's really gone to the world with the, the uh, solutions that we have in our toolkit. 
And we're really proud that part of what we've actually done is, is roll out these accelerator tools. And I've got to say, largely we rolled them out initially for ourselves, so that would actually be a point of difference for us in the market. But now we've actually found that a lot of our clients really want to use the tools and really want to be able to accelerate their own journeys. And we've been really pleased to be able to turn those products into something that can now be used by uh, anyone who wants to explore uh, this, this particular space and who's really interested in getting the highest quality uh, automations possible. So you can see uh, just, from, just in terms of who we are and what we've done, uh, we've got uh, about 120 employees around the world. All of our employees are accredited developers. So we, we really believe that's an important part of being able to support uh, the right kinds of outcomes for our clients. You can see also that we're very proud to be a, a Blue Prism partner. We are a double platinum. Um, the only one in the world in that space and we've we've uh, had a wonderful journey with Blue Prism to date and we're looking forward to the future. I think last thing I just want to say on this slide because it's something that we're very very proud of, uh, you can see in the corner uh, the Forest of Wave leaders position. Uh, very recently only in the last few weeks we were recognised by Forrester as being a leader in the mid-size RPA services market and that's been a huge accolade for us in terms of being able to recognise the quality of the work the team does and I'm very proud to be able to say that. So without further ado I'll just jump into the um, the conversation around Reveal RoboSuite. Probably the, the, the key message that we wanted to just put here was that essentially there's there's a couple of things that RoboSuite does really well and that is that it reduces the time that it takes to complete automation activity, which means you can get much better ROI uh, based, on, based on the kind of effort that's being put in. It also allows us to achieve a, a much cleaner and more consistent solution as well, which, which not only serves us well in terms of getting that speed to market or that speed to value, but it also means that in production or in maintenance, you're also going to get low maintenance costs as well because you won't, having, you won't be having to fix the solution over time or having to make changes to the solution over time because we actually ensure upfront that you'll get that consistent development approach and that you'll actually get that consistent development approach not just with individual developers but across all your developer uh, workforce. So that's a really important feature of being able to scale efficiently. So one of the things that we're going to do uh, very soon and Cass is going to show you is exactly how that actually occurs but that essentially is the core of the products and if I sort of go into a little bit more detail there's two key products that, uh, as Falguna mentioned, we're going to talk to today. The two products are firstly Robo Designer, and that really allows us to focus in on how to make sure that we do object design to a very consistent and high standard and do it in a way that allows it to be done much, much more quickly than, than usual. And we also know that object build is not exactly the uh, developer's most uh, favourite part of the process. So it's one we want to actually take away some of that effort from them and allow them to uh, build with precision and quickly as well. What Robo Review allows us to do is it allows us to provide a self-service capability for developers where they can proactively check their code on a regular basis, make sure that code is in line with best practice and allow them to push it out much more quickly and also to give everyone that high level of confidence that what's being generated is going to be able to scale quickly and easily as well. So they're the two key areas of focus for us with this particular session, but I didn't want to leave out Robo Manager because it really is the anchor for the entirety of the Robo Suite. It is actually the, um, it's the tool that underpins how we manage the entire automation life cycle. It's a very, very important part of actually being able to bring all of the toolkit to bear and allowing us to help our clients move right from process discovery all the way through to benefits realised. But Robo Design and Robo Review have a very important role to play in between to ensure that you've got quality outcomes occurring all the time. Now off the back of that, I'm just going to hand over to Cass to take you through, sorry, to take you through the details of Robo Designer and Robo Review. Thank you so much, John. Hi, I'm Cass, and it's a pleasure to be here to share some of our tools with you today. Um, I will start off with Robo Designer. So as John mentioned, it's the one that helps us design and build uh, the objects within Blue Prism. So we'll take you through a couple of the challenges and where sort of that journey originated from. 
you know, first up, that time spent on object build is really a significant challenge, you know, particularly when you've got several applications, lots of interactions with those applications as well. You know, the best we had was control C, control V in order to help us achieve that a lot faster. And often, you know, that came from copy pasting some ob object names from the ODI, etc. The next thing that we're seeing is that, you know, how often is it that you get it right the first time, every time? Um, particularly when you've got varying levels of uh, developer capability, there's often things that we have to go back and um, remediate, and there's sometimes inconsistencies between developers as well. So really trying to eliminate that. And lastly, for a number of reasons, including time, you know, sometimes document object um, document don't always get completed, um, and we're also trying to help uh, achieve better uh, documentation standards. So that's a quick overview of the challenges. The next slide is looking at how this has been applied into a particular organization. Um, and John will take you through that quickly before I um, delve into showing you the tool. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. If when, when we first started talking about the Robo Suite over 12 months ago, we didn't really have a lot of use cases because it, it was a brand new product on the market. What we have now is multiple examples where we've been able to help our clients achieve uh, great moves in program efficiency by being able to specifically around robo designer to be able to accelerate the object build. The particular example I've got here is a telecommunications provider that we work closely with. They asked us uh, recently to build a very, very complex solution in a very short period of time. That complex solution required more than 40 objects to be built. Uh, within that six week period, which meant that we really needed to knuckle down and get that done quickly. By applying Robo Designer to that solution or to that challenge, we were able to actually build all of those pros, uh, all of those objects within a within a one to one and a half week period. And that then allowed us, and also what it allowed us to do very importantly was build to best practice standards. So that meant that the residual uh, activity that was required, the actual development work itself, was then being done at a very, very high standard, which meant that we can continue the, um, the aggressive uh, position that we have to take or the velocity that we need it. So what's the impact of that? It's allowed us to build in about 30% faster. In fact, that week, we were the first week we were able to build 50% faster because of uh, Robo Designer, 100% uh, accuracy in the quality of the components that were built and a great ROI just off the back of that one particular use case. So. That's been a really, just a really great example of, of how the tool can help in a very short period of time. And now Cass is just gonna take you through a bit of a demo. Again, it's a short demo, it's not a very complex tool, but it's got a, packs a lot of punch. Thanks, John. Uh, Mark's gonna help me out by um, putting the video on the screen and I'll just talk you through that really quickly. Essentially, for Robo Designer, you can do it for yourself in four easy steps. You'll notice that the ODI template that we've downloaded from Robo Designer website is very similar to the standard Blue Prism one with the same fields and inputs. So this is a document that you're usually completing anyway. What we do with this is then upload that completed ODI into Robo Designer and we'll get a release back. This release goes straight into your Blue Prism environment and what we'll see is that the objects and actions have already been created for you and following best practices. You can even see the wait stage has been completed, the exceptions management and descriptions been included and your input and start parameters are all there for you as per the ODI. There's only even a couple of things you need to do to make this ready to go and that's in the application modeler. You need to just spy the elements of the application because we aren't able to get that directly from the tool. But then once that's done, just refining your navigation actions, and then essentially you've got an object that's all ready to go. The next thing we'll do is talk quickly to a robo review. So I'm just going to change the slide here. 
Robo Review, as mentioned, is our code checking tool. Now, there's what we're finding is that you know your production environment is only as good as your best DA, right? So um, before anything can be deployed, someone needs to check it and remediate it and make sure that everything's up to scratch. This often takes time, and we find that there's a number of bottlenecks in here. So in uh, reiterating code, getting it back and getting up to scratch ready to go. It can also be tedious for a DA to write out a number of all the details and pick up everything. So if there's any inconsistencies between DA and the code that goes through, that's also a potential challenge. And you want to make sure that it's right across all your processes. It also can also be frustrating if you're a developer and not getting back very targeted feedback on where exactly in your process you need to make that amendment. So we're just it's also trying to eliminate any of those tedious challenges in getting and applying that feedback. Now John is going to very quickly look at how we applied Robo Review at another one of our clients. Thanks, Kes. And just to emphasise this particular uh, example, it was a particularly large and complex migration uh, based off the back of a Blue Prism upgrade, so upgrading to the latest version. This particular client has 400, just over 400 processes in delivery and not surprisingly the pro the thought of having to migrate uh, those processes was rather daunting and would have been a huge burden for the design authority in this particular instance so they are actually one of our longer standing uh, robo review customers and uh, have actually using that right across their team at this particular point in time and the good news for them was that by applying that uh, solution and being able to roll out Robo Review as part of the migration exercise. They were ab actually allow able to use the refactoring activity that Robo Review was allowed them to do to ensure that only processes that were met a certain threshold, we set the threshold at 90% plus score in the system. You can actually have a range of options for you if that's what you want, but essentially that was what the client was asking for. They wanted a very high standard of quality to, to before they actually migrated a process into that new environment and essentially they were able to do that much more quickly than what they would have been able to do otherwise. But importantly as well, they were able to take a lot of the effort away from the design authority, which had direct savings associated with actually where the design authority's effort was being pro applied. But there's other, and, we've, and I've highlighted the savings on the slide, but the reality was that there were a whole range of other benefits as well in terms of the quality of what was put onto the new platform, ensuring that there were no maintenance effort required for those processes that they were running smoothly and seamlessly the benefit to the client as well in terms of the business units that actually rely on those processes as well. So a great experience um, achieved by everyone and there was no doubt that Rover Review played a very big role in ensuring that that was a smooth migration. And uh, again, hand over to Cass now just to show you um, how it actually does what it does. Thanks, John. Mark will just help us out here as well. So when your code is ready to go, you're able to upload it into Robo Review. Now you choose your, your environment because we've got a couple of different considerations on the rules um, based on that environment, such as production having more testing, uh, logging based rules. You'll give it a release version and then just upload that with uh, processes and objects you'd like to include. And by default, we don't include those BBOs and utilities that come straight from Blue Prism. When you're done, just submit. Pretty soon after that, you'll get an email from Robo Review where you'll get an outline of the scores and a report. When you open that report, you can see what those scores are. But in order to dig into that detail, just click into the process name or the object name. The report will come up and you'll notice that this also looks quite similar to the one from Blue Prism um, that we use to remediate and review code. And you'll see the different descriptions of what's being reviewed. And there's a link if there's anything that does need your feedback. If we jump into that errors and feedback, you'll see all the sources of the error, 
what that error is and what it means for you, and lastly, what that error location is so you can immediately go and find it in Blue Prism. What we'll do now is see what it would look like to immediately action some of that feedback. Here we've picked up one where exception management and how it's handled gracefully. When we click on the link, it'll again take us through to that detail and a developer can very quickly see, okay, what's the error and what's gonna happen? This one will cause the process to crash because there's an extra exception thrown and it's in the populate queue page of the advanced consolidation exercise. Back in Blue Prism, we can quickly navigate right to that populate queue page and see here within that recover stage that there is actually an extra exception thrown and something that we need to remediate. So pretty handy that the developer is able to very quickly see where it is. The other cool thing about Robo Review is the analytics. Here what we can see at an aggregate level and for the developer is a confidential report about how the program and your developers are performing. Really what's cool is how you, you can see where the opportunities for extra training and uh, support for developers are. You know, we see maybe stability is a good one, but maybe maintainability isn't so great. This last table in particular ranks all of those areas. So you can be really targeted in how you'd like to train and help your developers achieve better outcomes. That's all from me. Back to John and the team. So just the last the last uh, point that we wanted to make before we hand back to Felguna is we would like to welcome you to try Robo Review. We we have a we have a website as you can see there called the Robo Review Challenge. 14 days uh, free. Give it a try. See what you think. And uh, we'd love to talk to you about it and see what your thoughts are. Love to get feedback. We're always improving the product all the time. So uh, if you're in, and you're welcome to try it whenever you feel like it. Handing back over to you, Felguna. Thank you so much, John and Cass. Uh, I think that was uh, fantastic. Um, so uh, I'm gonna just you know read through some of the questions here, but uh, before we get to some of the questions that we've received, just wanted to let everyone out there in the audience know that you can type in your questions. There is a panel in which you can type in your questions, and and uh, we'll we'll go through them. So if uh, for those of you who have not already added questions, we can add those on. Um, and secondly, uh, Robo Review is available um, along with uh, you know Robo Designer on the on the digital exchange. For anyone who wants to know more about it, you can either go through the digital exchange or um, go on to the reveal website and you'll get more information out there um, as well. So, um, quickly moving on to some of the questions um, that we have. Uh, I think, um, John, you could probably um, take this one up. Um, how customizable is is robo review and uh, what if customers wanted to deviate from the blue prism uh, best practices uh, how would it uh, attend to those kind of scenarios uh, over to you john yeah great question Felbuna. uh look to be to be frank the we do build we built robo review based on the blue prism best practices and we've also built it based on our experience over many many years of what generates the best outcomes from from and scalability from the code so we've actually built in a lot of what people would expect to see in there that said we still do get clients who say well we've actually got a couple of extra features a couple of extra things that we do differently so from that perspective we're more than happy to work with individual clients if they want to do some tailoring to those to those core values that sit behind the way that the uh, system is scored fantastic Thanks for that, John. Um, the second question is: Are there any processes that are better suited for Robo Review, or can you know, or can you pick any process that you're uh, building uh, and uh, work with Robo Review on that? 
Yeah, sure, I'll take that one, Falguna. Um, any process can really be submitted into a robo review at any stage of development, which is great because, um, you know, whether a developer is just starting out and trying to learn within their initial development stage what is working and what's not working, all the way through to development of very complex processes about to hit production where we're trying to be really clear on logging and stringent credential management and making sure there's absolutely no misses before production. So there really is any process they can go through. And, and actually, can I just I'll build on that one, Cass? I, I mentioned at the beginning, Felguna, that um, we use Robo Review internally, and we have a we have a pretty much a golden rule within the team that we will continuously submit our code to Robo Review through the entire build cycle, so that we're always generating the best possible code at every step along the way. So for us, it's very much a it's very much working in with the life the automation life cycle as well. That's that's a very interesting, uh, you know, uh, response uh, from from you, uh, John, as well as Cass, because um, you guys are double platinum partners for Blue Prism. Um, you have built the Robo Designer tool as well as the Robo Review tool uh, tool itself, and um, in spite of using the, uh, you know, your tools like Robo Designer and knowing the best practices for Blue Prism, you still feel that there is great value in using Robo Review and ensuring that you give that kind of quality back to your customer and it helps you in the in the overall, uh, you know, go live of the processes that you're, uh, you know, building for your customers. Uh, so that's uh, that's a fantastic. Um, view, um, which I think uh, many people in this audience can, you know, really take from. It's not a one-time thing; it's it's an ongoing thing. So, uh, yes. so that's great to know. Uh, what is the process for anyone uh, who wants to probably get training on uh, Robo Review or Robo Designer, and how do they go about, um, you know, uh, accessing those? Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll take that one. Uh, we actually we have an enablement team uh, whose focus is around training and sustaining uh, engagements using our tools. So we are more than happy to uh, to train anyone in the use of the tool. It's very it's very easy to use. I mean, as, as you would have seen from what Cass showed, uh, the products are quite intuitive. But by that same token, we're also more than happy to sort of show some of the tricks and the bells and whistles that also sit behind it. Particularly in the analytics space, you can really get some fantastic insights um, in that area as well. And we we can definitely help show people how they can access those insights more easily. Okay, thanks for that, uh, John. And I think uh, adding on to that question, uh, one of the next questions is, you know, what do they, what kind of software do they need uh, to use Robo Review? Is there something that you end up in, they need to install at their uh, desktops or workstations that they need to work on, or is it a cloud-based tool? Uh, so this is something that they're asking. Sure, I'll take this one. Uh, it's quite simple. It's software as a service in the cloud, so there's nothing that you need to do on your own desktop. It's as simple as logging in and uploading your release or your ODI. Um, they're both done managed in a very similar way. Very nice. Okay. And um, uh, the other uh, observation that I have seen is uh, how how have you seen this scale? So for a development team, which is probably you know five ten people strong, versus there could be development teams uh, which are you know fifty hundred people strong. How have you seen the scale uh, from a you know the overall um, product itself uh, and uh, the, the feedback that it gives back to these people so that uh, they continuously improve on the on the quality that they end up building and and going forward. Yeah, uh, that's a really good question, Phil. Oh, we, we've seen, oh, I think it's fair to say we've seen every possible model under the sun, actually. So some some uh, some clients have used it just for their design authority, and uh, what we've seen in those instances uh, that they've done it because they're a multi, you know, so in some environments they're a multi-vendor environment or a multi-team environment, and they want the design authority to be able to test and assess anything that goes onto production before it goes onto um, into the into the final environment, and that's the, and that's been a, a key enabler or an enhancement to the design authority's responsibilities. Other teams, it's all about making sure that every developer is operating at a particular standard, so they'll actually deploy Robo Review, particularly and Robo Designer, across the entire team. Uh, it just depends on, on on where they see 
the products actually giving giving the best advantage to the way that they want to actually uh, deliver their automation program. So as I said, it really it really it's quite a flexible tool from, from that perspective. So different parties use it differently depending on how they how they want to uh, deploy it. Fantastic. Okay, uh, that's very encouraging, John. And um, I think uh, I think we are at the end of the uh, end of the hour here. And uh, you know, any further questions that you uh, might have, please free to send it forward, and we'll be very happy to you know answer those. Uh, get back to you. I think some of the information that uh, we've shared today as well, we will come back to you uh, separately. Uh, so as Mark uh, rightly said right at the beginning, you will hear from us in the next 24 to 48 hours. And I'll thank uh, everyone here, um, both from the reveal team as well as everyone from the audience uh, to thank you for spending your time and learning about how you can really improve your automation and uh, really excel at it and, and drive the kind of uh, results that you're looking to drive. So uh, thank you everyone uh, and very, have a very nice uh, day, uh, morning or afternoon and take care. Thanks for having us.